in the today's section I'm gonna quickly show you how you can backup and transfer your data and how to restore that data so let's begin in this project I got three data in my model 2 this model 2 belongs to app 2 so we are gonna backup these three data into the JSON file in a simple way JSON is the data container so as you can see this is my project and I don't have JSON file now it will automatically generate when we write the code and to create that data JSON file I am using python manage.py dump data app1 this is my app name you can change it by your app name and then greater than symbol then my app.json my app is the file name and json is the extension you can change the file name then hit enter as you can see it automatically generated the my app.json in this json we got all of the data from model this is the data of model 1 so i think this was the easiest way to backup your data into the json format now if you want to backup all of your data just remove this f1 and directly write python manage.py dump data then my app.json so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete all of the data and then i'm gonna show you how to restore that particular data from json file now to restore the data just write python manage.py load data my app.json and hit enter as you can see installed two objects from one fixtures it means because i got the two objects and it installed it it restored the two objects and that's why it says install two objects from one fixtures means from one model now with this line it will restore all of the data doesn't matter model one two whatever it will restore all of your data you don't need to write f1 f2 it will restore full project data so let's run server and see if it is work or not as you can see it perfectly worked and i got my two data and this was the easiest way to backup and restore the data so that is it for today's guys if you like my video just like my video share this video with other programmer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video see you guys in the next video till then just code